you'll recognize our next guest from hit Disney shows like That's So Raven and Corey in the House, and he also showed off his fancy footwork on season 11 of Dancing with the Stars. You were robbed. <laughs> now he's back in the new Batman series, Gotham. Kyle Massey, welcome to Arise 360. Thank you guys so much for having me. You I appreciate were robbed. it. Yeah. Oh, was I? Man, yes. a lot of people was telling me that. A lot of fans have come up to me and told me that. Yeah, we'll get to that. We'll like get Jagger. more in depth than that. Don't worry. We'll get there. But yeah. we have to ask you about Gotham first. Yes. It really gives audiences a peek inside the backstory of people yeah. like the Catwoman, the Penguin, the Catwoman, Riddler, yeah. the Joker, all these amazing villains. <laughs> Tell us about your character and how you landed this gig. Um, man, like, uh... Who, okay, so my character, his name is Mackie. Uh, he's he's just this this street kid that really just has it rough. Mm -hmm. um, he's friends with Catwoman, mm -hmm. and basically, like, we kind of just bond together and and really just try and take over. Uh, I don't, I can't. I'm gonna stop talking about the show and talk about my character. My okay. character is Mackie. He's a good kid. Um, the show, I can't really reveal too much. Oh. Like, we were hoping you would give us some secrets. I know the secret is at the end of every episode, there's gonna be another episode. Oh. No, that's a good thing. <laughs> Actually, Fox just added six additional. Now you have 22. Yeah. Oh, this is great. It's very this popular is show. Yeah. This is awesome. You heard it here first. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> All right. Can you tell us about being a fan of comic books? Were you a yeah. fan of them growing up? And who um, was your favorite superhero? Man, I, I've been a fan of, of comic books and, and just superheroes and, and really just that, that other world. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, just since as long as I can remember. My favorite superhero is uh, like Spider-Man and Batman. Really? Um, just because like the way that they do what they do is like unique to yeah. all other superheroes. That's so true. so Batman is obviously the king. Um, okay, Bruce but Gotham Lane. is about villains, so who's your favorite villain? Oh, who's my favorite villain? Yeah, oh, man. Uh, well, right now, I have to say between the Joker and the Penguin, man, like, because yeah. what they have coming up on Gotham for the for the new villains, and it's just a, a brand new twist on a familiar story. Like what, for example? Like oh. something you got to <laughs> tune in for. <laughs> all right, I tried. You can't give us a hint? Uh, um, think just a little man, something? It's just like, I feel like, Shows like this, shows that are really highly anticipated, like that anticipation is is key. So mm -hmm. if I was to tell you guys, and you're gonna be like, oh well, I know what happens this episode, and then you're gonna right. cook instead of watching the episode. Fair enough. All <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. So tell us what it's like to work with Jada Pinkett Smith. Oh man, she she's she's, she's got just some crazy hair on amazing. that show. That's like, for mm -hmm. sure. She's got crazy everything, crazy mm -hmm. work ethic, crazy hair, crazy wardrobe. Just she's she's just brilliant. Um, and, and yeah, like she's just a, a breath of fresh air. Like the, the entire cast, man, like we're just, we're a very handsome cast, especially that guy. <laughs> that, who's that, that guy? That guy is a hottie. <laughs> that guy is a hottie. Heartthrob yeah. McGee. He's a little chocolate drop, <laughs> that one. He must be the reason why the show is so popular. Obviously. Why do you think people love this crime drama so much? Um, I feel like because, like, it, a lot of times when you enter into a brand new world mm -hmm. of, of, of heroics and, and, and things, I feel like people just really just want to get lost in it. Mm -hmm. And so uh, uh, the, the shows that are always going to be the biggest ones are the best ones at helping you get lost in the show. Mm -hmm. So I feel like Gotham, when you watch it, you're not watching a show, you're really in Gotham. Like, mm -hmm. So I feel like that's going to be the, the, the thing that's going to separate us from all the other shows. Now, we're both huge fans of That's So yeah. Racing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and we're proud of it. Yes, we are. We're proud of it. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. What was it like to be on a, a show that huge? I mean, it was a colossal hit. Yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was actually a remarkable show. Yeah. Um, and it's really crazy because Raven and I are both from Atlanta. So um, when we met, that was kind of like one of the things that um, made us want to work together so well. But um, the show was just amazing to be a part of. It was the uh, first live, um, live, filmed live uh -huh. show in front yeah. of a live audience that Disney's ever had. First four camera. We were the first African-American full cast. Uh, we were the first wow. to go to 100 episodes. And I was the first to have my spinoff afterwards. So it's just like a lot of a lot mm -hmm. of first mm -hmm. for, uh, for That's So Raven, which was huge for the Disney Channel. So and when you were... Filming, I mean, most kids your age were in school, doing schoolwork, going yeah. to lunch. Did you have a normal childhood? Because you were on the, one of the hottest shows on Disney. No way. I had the most un normal childhood ever. <laughs> like, I've been on Disney Channel for 16 years. Like, mm -hmm. I have an a, a animated show on Disney Channel right now mm -hmm. that I do a voice for. And um, it's, really, it's, it's really just like a... It's, it's, you have to really just do it. You know, mm -hmm. like uh, just, just, just really go for it, and 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 just know what you're getting into is something that a lot of people want to be doing. So a lot of times when I didn't go to prom or when I didn't get the car when I was 16, mm -hmm. I was like, nah, I was going to say, did you miss out on that? Yeah, I missed out on a lot yeah. of things, but um, that's that's really just when you um, look at your parents, and I looked at my mom and dad, and they were just really, you know, explained it to me like. Yeah, you don't get to do certain things that kids love to do, but you get to do something that a lot of kids would 
die to do. So now, how do you make the transition from child star to adult star? Because you know a lot of your peers have not made it yeah. at all. <laughs> yeah. Didn't make it. Um, well, I feel like a lot of things is, is, is you got to stay focused. Mm -hmm. um, and being on a, like a, a big uh, child show like That's So Raven and yeah. Corey in the House. Um, a lot of times people look at you as that kid actor. Yeah. So um, luckily, it was my mom's idea to go on Dancing with the Stars. Oh, OK. <laughs> and like, and that, that really just you know, propelled me to a different level of fame, you know, mm. because uh, I got like 70 million votes. And, and like a lot of people's parents and stuff were voting for me. Yeah. And, and we so, were mad that you were only runner up. Runner we were up. upset he's, about that. How did, I mean, but tell us, how did you enjoy the whole experience? And did you think Man. you should have won? Uh, <laughs> I feel like if I were to say that, like That's social okay. media is going to go on fire. <laughs> Um, this Let's light it up, baby. Yeah, you know, <laughs> light it up. Exactly. We'll say it for you. You should have won. <laughs> should have won. Like, um, well, here's what I can say. Jennifer Grey is a is a phenomenal dancer. Mm -hmm. She's a legend, um, and she actually was the winner of my season. Um, so if 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 I did have to lose, it would it would, you know, make me happy to lose to someone that really mm -hmm. deserved it. But um, I do think you know I should I could have won something. Right. something. <laughs> but um, I, it was a great experience, like mm -hmm. Lynn and, and just the production and just the way that show is produced and the way we did it, the 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 stuff I learned and the people I was with, it was just absolutely phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I do wish I would have won though. That way yeah. I had a little trophy, something to kick it with when I'm lonely. We can always do but, it again. <laughs> yeah, we can always do it again. <laughs> <laughs> you're the, you're the winner in our eyes. So oh, yeah, you worry about go. that. So what's <laughs> next for you other than golfing? <sighs> um, wow. Okay, let's see what's next. Um, after new TV shows that I'm creating with um, a couple uh, amazing, amazing people and friends of mine. I don't want to spoil it yet, but what I'll do, I'll come back when when they come out. You know, when, okay. It, okay. when it is revealed and I'll, I'll really bring all my friends and show you what we're up to. But um, I just have a couple movies coming out. I have three movies, Senior Project, um, Low Lives. I, I can't forget. I can't remember the name of the last one. Okay. But I have a, a bunch of different movies and, and music as well. Uh, I got yeah. a couple songs with a... I just don't want to spoil anything. <laughs> like, oh, okay, all right. Fair so enough. Just come back. Hey. When you come back, you're going to tell us Everything. All about all the things you got going on. Everything. All right. Everything. Right? I'm gonna tell you how much I weigh when I was born, which oh. shoe I wear. <laughs> like, everything. Well, until no, then, not. we can catch you on Fox and the show Gotham. Right? Yes. All yes. right. Thank you so much for Thank joining you guys us. So we much appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Guys. All right. And you're watching Arise Entertainment 360. <laughs>